All right guys, gonna get back into some work. I'm back in the shed, it's after work on a Thursday night. What I'm gonna do now is finish prepping the engine for seracoding so uh, we can get ready to build the engine because my parts have arrived in New Zealand from Japan and I'm so excited about that. Look at that. Pretty anticlimactic to be honest because it's just boxes but pretty exciting. So this is what we got. We've got our head, the um, bores, that's the side cover that covers the um, chain guard, uh, sorry the chain and obviously that's where the um, clutch um, slave cylinder is. Um, that's another side cover there obviously and then our main casings top and bottom and then um, I have already done the um, the valve cover the valve covers uh, the tapper cover rocker cover whatever you call it um, and I have also done two one side cover and something else can't remember what else oh the sump so anyway instead of doing a boring time lapse I'm just gonna snap my fingers Boom, clicked my fingers and that's what happened. Hours of sandblasting and masking up and uh, it's ready to Cerakote. So, uh, weather's looking ominous. But I'm gonna start doing that now um, and yeah, see how it sh turns out. Alright guys, we got there in the end. A uh, bit of a big day, uh, but we got all the um, parts prepped and now they've all been seracoded. So it's just a case of letting them dry now before we start assembly. Um, yeah, no, it was a pretty big job, but um, I think it's turned out pretty great. As you can see, um, it's still wet, but when it dries, it dries more of a, a matte like that. That's quite glossy still because I sprayed that first. But anyway, um, thanks for watching this episode and I guess in the next one it'll probably be assembling the engine, so stay tuned for that.